Hi, I have a book to read to you today, and this book is called The Huckabuck Family and How They Raised Popcorn in Nebraska and Quit and Came Back. It's a very long title. Uh, this book is by Carl Sandberg, and the pictures are by David Small. This book is an American folk classic, and it's also on the curriculum for junior grade books. So I will read the story and then I'll come close so you can see the pictures. Jonas Jonas Huckabuck was a farmer in Nebraska with a wife, Mama Mama Huckabuck, and a daughter, Pony Pony Huckabuck. So I'll come close and you can see them. Your father gave you two names, the same in front, people had said to him. And he answered, yes, two names are easier to remember. If you call me by my first name, Jonas, and I don't hear you, then when you call me by my second name, Jonas, maybe I will. And he went on, I call my pony-faced girl, Pony Pony, because if she doesn't hear me the first time, she always does the second. And so they lived on a farm where they raised popcorn, these three, Jonas Jonas Huckabuck, his wife, Mama Mama Huckabuck, and their pony-faced daughter, Pony Pony Huckabuck. So there they are. And Pony Pony is way up here in the barn. After they harvested the crop one year, they had the barns, the cribs, the sheds, the shacks, and all the cracks and corners of the farm all filled with popcorn. We came to Nebraska to raise popcorn, Jonas Jonas said, and I guess we'll, we've got nearly enough popcorn this year for the popcorn poppers and all the friends and relations of all the popcorn poppers in these United States. So there's the farm. All the popcorn, it's spilling out, and there's the family. And this was the year Pony Pony was going to bake her first squash pie all by herself. In one corner of the corn crib, all covered with popcorn, she had a secret, a big round squash, a fat yellow squash a rich squash, all spotted with spots of gold. She carried the squash into the kitchen, took a long, sharp, shining knife, and then she cut the squash in the middle until she had two big half squashes. You can see them. And inside, just like outside, it was rich yellow, spotted with spots of gold. And there was a shine of silver, and Pony Pony wondered why silver should be in a squash. She picked and plunged with her fingers until she pulled it out. It's a buckle, she said, a silver buckle, a Chinese silver slipper buckle. And there she is, and there's the buckle. That's pretty strange. She ran with it to her father and said, look what I found when I cut open the yellow squash, spotted with spots of gold. It's a Chinese silver slipper buckle. It means our luck is gonna change and we don't know if it will be good luck or bad luck, said Jonas Jonas to his daughter, Pony Pony Huckabuck. Then she ran with it to her mother and said, look what I found when I cut open the yellow squash spotted with spots of gold. It's a Chinese silver slipper buckle. It means our luck is going to change and we don't know whether it will be good luck or bad luck, said Mama Mama Huckabuck. And there she is, up with the popcorn. On this, on this page, I'm gonna show you the picture first so you can see what's happening. 
So do you think it's good luck or bad luck? And that night, a fire started in the barns. Cribs, sheds, and shacks, and cracks and corners where the popcorn harvest was kept. All night long, popcorn popped. In the morning, the ground all around the farmhouse and the barn was covered with white popcorn, so it looked like a heavy fall of snow. All the next day, the fire kept on and the popcorn popped until it was up to the shoulders of Pony Pony when she tried to walk from the house to the barn. And that night in all the barns, cribs, sheds and shacks, cracks and corners of the farm, the popcorn went on popping. In the morning when Jonas Jonas Huckabuck looked out the upstairs window, he saw the popcorn popping and coming higher and higher it was nearly up to the window. All that popcorn. Before evening and dark of that day, Jonas Jonas Huckabuck and his wife, Mama Mama Huckabuck, and their daughter, Pony Pony Huckabuck, all went away from the farm saying, we came to Nebraska to raise popcorn but this is too much. We will not come back until the wind blows away the popcorn. We will not come back till we get a sign and a signal. So there's the farm with all the popcorn. And here's the Hugglebuck family. And they're gonna leave for a little while. They went to Oskaloosa, Iowa and the next year, Pony Pony Hucklebuck was very proud because when she stood on the sidewalks in the street, she could see her father sitting high on the seat of a coal wagon, driving two big spanking horses hitched with shining brass harness in front of a coal wagon. And though Pony Pony and Jonas Jonas were, were proud, very proud all that year, there never came a sign, a signal. The next year, again, was a proud year, exactly as proud as the year they had spent in Os Oskaloosa. They went to Paducah, Kentucky, to Defiance, Ohio, Peoria, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, Walla Walla, Washington, and in all those places, Pony Pony Huckabuck saw her father, Jonas Jonas Huckabuck, standing in rubber boots, deep down in a ditch, with a shining steel shovel, shoveling yellow clay and black mud from down in the ditch, high and high up over his shoulders. And though it was a proud year, they got no sign, no signal. The next year came, it was the proudest of all. This was the year Jonas Jonas Huckabuck and his family lived in Elgin, Illinois. And Jonas Jonas was a watchman in a watch factory watching the watches. I know where you have been, Mama Mama would say of an evening to Pony Pony Huckabuck. You have been down to the watch factory watching your father Watch the watches. Yes, said Pony Pony, yes. And this evening, when I was watching father watch the watches in the watch factory, I looked over my left shoulder and I saw a policeman with a star and brass buttons and he was watching, he was watching me watch father watch the watches in the watch factory. I looked to see if I was watching father watch watches in the watch factory. It was a proud year. Pony Pony saved her money. Thanksgiving came. 
Pony Pony said, I'm going to get a squash to make a squash pie. She hunted from one grocery to another. She kept her eyes on the farm wagons coming into Elgin with squashes. She found what she wanted. The yellow squash spotted with spots of gold. She took it home, cut it open, and saw the inside was like the outside, all rich and yellow, spotted with spots of gold. There was a shine like silver. She picked and plunged with her fingers and pulled and pulled till at last she pulled out the shine of silver. It's a sign, a signal, she said. It's a buckle, a slipper buckle, a Chinese silver slipper buckle. It's the mate to the other buckle. Oh, our luck is going to change. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. You can see how excited she is there. We'll bring this close. She told her father and mother about the buckle. They went back to the farm in Nebraska. The wind by this time had been blowing and blowing for three years and all the popcorn was blown away. Now we're gonna be farmers again, said Jonas Jonas Huckabuck to Mama Mama Huckabuck and to Pony Pony Huckabuck. And we're going to raise cabbages and beets and turnips. We're going to raise squash and rutabaga, pumpkins, and peppers for pickling. We are going to raise wheat, oats, barley, rye. We are going to raise corn, such as Indian corn and Kaffir corn. But we are not going to raise any popcorn for the popcorn poppers to be popping. And the pony faced daughter, Pony Pony Huckabuck, was proud because she had on a new new black slippers and around her ankles holding the slippers on the left foot and the right foot she had two buckles silver buckles chinese silver slipper buckles they were mates and there she is Sometimes on Thanksgiving Day and Christmas and New Year's, she tells her friends to be careful when they open a squash. Squashes make your luck change. Good to bad and bad to good, says Pony Pony. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope to see you very soon. Bye.